the Catholic Church is gravely offending God with the sacrilege of communion in the hand. The Church hierarchy has implemented this new desecration by bringing up the pandemic situation as an excuse. In another video of the work of God, I gave testimony about the desecration occurring in my parish, which ended with a host on the floor that I picked up with my tongue. That same day, I received this message in which the Lord reveals His feelings to me. October 25th, 2021 Jesus speaks, My son, you are a witness of the profanation and sacrilege that is committed within my church. With my pierced hands, I am paying for the impure hands that handle me unworthily. Likewise, I pay with my pierced feet for those who trample me in the particles that fall from the consecrated hosts because of the communion in the hand. Faith is finished. This is the apostasy in which my church finds itself, a priesthood that I have formed to bring me to the altar as the bread of life, has forgotten that I am God. Many priests wear masks and also gloves on the altar, forgetting that they are before the Supreme Being. They offend me because of their lack of faith. Since I am Emmanuel, God with you, they ignore me. They make some holy practices. Some glorify my word, but then they offend me with much noise and with the indifference they have towards my real presence in the consecrated bread. They offer my eternal sacrifice to the Heavenly Father, but then they treat me very badly. That is why, in my word, I tell them not to give what is holy to dogs. Matthew 7, verse 6 My word says in 1 Corinthians 11, verse 29, For he who eats and drinks without discerning the body of the Lord, eats and drinks his own condemnation. This does not affect only the laity, the priest who distributes my body and blood without discernment, without any zeal for my real presence, is accumulating offenses for the day of my judgment. The priests forget my holiness. Apart from the profanation that I suffer in many altars, they then deliver me into unholy hands. What they are doing is delivering my holy wounds blood, water, pains, tears, and anguishes into hands filled with the alcohol of their purifications that make my wounds burn. They release me into hands full of unworthiness that profane me before I enter their hearts. Many Satanists are taking advantage of this bonanza of communion in the hand to pretend that they receive me in their mouths but they hide the hosts and then urinate on them and profane me with their satanic rites. Many priests do the same as a mother who loves her son very much, but who is careless and in a moment forgets the consequences and throws him into a cage full of hungry lions. However, the blame for this profanation is not only of the priests and the lady, it is of all the bishops and the hierarchy of the Church who have forgotten who I am. The laws made by men are given more importance than my commandments. The Church has sold me to the United Nations. It has become more political than religious. It has compromised itself with the laws of the world. It is more in favor of the authorities of the world than of the flock it must protect. This is how she continually defiles me with her unfaithfulness. Besides apostasy, I have been wounded in my own church by blasphemy, heresy, idolatry, profanation, and sacrilege. My mystical body, the church, is suffering the same as my sacred humanity suffered. I am in agony and the time of mercy is running out. The perpetual sacrifice of the Holy Mass 
is being abolished little by little as prophesied. It has become a social gathering where noise reigns and where it culminates in the profanation of the Holy Eucharist in the hand. My priests have taught my faithful to profane my sacred humanity. This offering to the Father, combined with impurity, causes me more offense than pleasure. Jeremiah 6, verse 20 Their sacrifices do not please me. I am being removed from my church by the apostasy and defilement that so offends me. And when it is done completely, the prophesied darkness will come, and the chastisement will cleanse the earth. Second of Thessalonians 2 verse 7 For the mystery of iniquity is already at work. It only remains for him who holds him back to be put away. With tears in my eyes, I ask you, my son, Make preparation with the ardor of your adoration. Pray for all the priests and for the lady who offend me. Implore the grace of the Father for the forgiveness and conversion of all humanity. Do not be discouraged. I will be with you until the end of time. If you like this video, please give us a like. Subscribe to our channel, The Work of God. Share on social networks and do not forget to leave your valuable comments. God bless you.